Hello everyone. So today we're going to do a uh, boot up video. We're going to boot Fedora 25 beta edition. It's a Linux distro and we're going to boot it on this uh, two-in-one tablet from Acer. This is the uh, Acer Switch Alpha 12. It has a Core i5 inside and let's see whether this can run Linux or not. Uh, yes, it does. So I'm just going to show you. So if you are like me, and you use uh, Linux as your main desktop, and you were thinking that about buying, you were thinking about buying this laptop, and you're wondering whether this can run Linux or not. So here's your answer. I hope this helps you make your decision. So we are booting. And there's the uh, GNOME Desktop Manager login screen. Let me log in right here. So as you can see, touch screen works as you might expect. I can interact with the uh, desktop using my fingers, as you, as one might hope. Let's see if I can get this camera to focus. Okay. So brightness control work as one might hope. I can you can also summon the activity screen using the touch screen or the uh, calendars and whatnot. You can go to the settings page right here. So these are the uh, this is to, this is the uh, shutdown menu. Uh, it previously is the shutdown menu, but when you press alternate. Key, button on the keyboard to make it suspend but there's a yeah, extension that you can install to make it behave like this because i like it to suspend by default and not shut down so yeah and wi-fi works i i saw that the uh, bluetooth was working but let's see if we go to the power menu here yeah so i I think Bluetooth driver is installed or something, but I don't have a use for it, so I'll just turn it off. I can turn it off from here. So um, there are two ways to summon the activities menu. We, we can use either the uh, on-screen touch of the activity, so you can use the mouse, the uh, window button on the keyboard. Or you see this here, the window key that's getting common. There's a window key right here that's getting common among laptops of this design. You can also use that. So for now, um, the uh, power button doesn't do anything because I disabled the functionality. But by default, you can have uh, the uh, power button to either suspend the laptop or put it into hibernate let's see if it, i can find the setting here okay yep it is right here so for me power button doesn't do anything because i disabled it another thing that we can do is let me use this tweak tool 
is that it's also possible to to suspend or hibernate the laptop. Uh, it's also possible to suspend the laptop when we uh, when we close the lid. Oh my god, this focus is terrible. Does that help? It's also possible to uh, to uh, suspend the laptop when closing the laptop lid, but I've disabled that as well using GNOME Tweak Tool because I don't need that. But that's not to say that func that suspend doesn't work. Suspend works quite well as you might expect. Go here. So now we're on suspend. I want to bring back the laptop from suspend. Just press the button here. So you can also swipe up and use the uh, on-screen keyboard to type in the password to log back in. But I'm just going to use the keyboard here because it's faster. And there we go. So um, launching apps from from the activities menu using the touch screen as you can see it's very convenient oh yeah before I forget I also have this uh, extension installed that helps me bring up the on-screen keyboard whenever I want because sometimes it doesn't work so you see here it will bring it up as expected but it might not work here in in applications for example in Chrome it doesn't automatically bring up the on-screen keyboard but it be, uh, as long as I have this extension installed here I can bring up the keyboard whenever I need so for example I can type in oh that's not what I want Oh, I was looking at the iPad models. These things are expensive, but I'm, I'm just trying to. Sh I'm just going to show you that scrolling works on Chrome, but by default, scrolling doesn't work on Firefox. So you see, this triggers a selection, and you cannot right-click to. There's no way to right click in Firefox as well. So you have to like uh, click on a so sorry. Click on a link, drag it to the new tab, and then you can open a new tab. That's how you open a new tab in Firefox. But it seems to work quite well on Chrome. So Chrome you can hold to right click and so Chrome is smart enough to detect that you want to right click when you you press and hold a link. See, Chrome is smart. So Firefox, the Firefox browser still has ways to go before they can do what Chrome can do. Oh, yeah, before I forget, this laptop does come with a pen so so this the pen works almost like a mouse so we can use the pen to interact with the uh, with the desktop as you would use a mouse so for example i can also use the pen to start up gym i'm not a creative person so don't expect anything don't expect anything beautiful from me 
So pinch to zoom, of course, that doesn't work. Oh. So you can draw with the uh, with your fingers. You can also let me see if we can. How do you zoom? Never mind. <laughs> I'm not going to bother with this. Oh yeah. So if you hover over things using the using the the given stylus, it will. Dip. It's almost as if you're hovering in your mouse cursor over the over the screen. So as you can see, just hovering having the yeah, stylus over the screen actually brings up the mouse there so the the pen works almost like a mouse let's see if I can draw a man a, a human being okay I'm sure there are creatives who can mm, make something beautiful find this useful somehow i'm not that kind of person so uh, so using this as a tablet to me is uh, it's tolerable it's it's usable it's not great i mean i still prefer to have a physical keyboard that you can use to type in type whatever i need because this requ this doesn't work as well as in Windows or in the iOS or in Android. We, uh, it does work. So if you were thinking about using this laptop, let's see if I can type something else here. So if you're thinking about using this laptop to browse something and do some if you if you're thinking about just a simple browsing the internet or watching a video mm. oh where's my keyboard i want my keyboard bring it back So using this in tablet mode to watch um, videos on YouTube, YouTube or movies or whatever is is quite good. Oops, I did something wrong here. Yeah, I don't care about this. So you can use this to watch movie trailers or anything or you know, do whatever you want. You can use it as a tablet and it works. So that's the end of the video. Let me just shut this down. Oops. I need to press the alternate button here to bring out the shutdown menu. Okay, there we go. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.